like the Hulk, no Atlanta Right after they check out my lens like a scanner Woo! Got your bitch on my dick, I can't stand her Hit now, she thinks she all that like a man. Yeah. yeah, you know I ball like Evander And she call me daddy like I'm Danny Tanner yeah. The pussy pink like she fight cancer I let that bitch give me top on the camera When down south on me like Alabama I came and I made that bitch step like the gamma Hey what's up everyone my name is Lance I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be some explained PvP with some viewer submitted clips. I hope you guys enjoy and learn something new if you do please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Let's try to get this video to 100 likes but before we get into that let's talk about today's sponsor. The sponsor of today's video is Havoc Arc. Havoc Arc is a PlayStation unofficial no wipe server starting March 1st. I will be playing over there on the 1st if you would like to join me. Havoc Arc is an 8 man, no ally, 15x harvesting with boosted breeding. Havoc also has a 3 day PvP break once a month with custom events like the Coliseum. All maps and 50x beginner map. If you're looking for a server to play with your friends, I highly recommend checking out Havoc. If you have any questions, a link will be in the description down below. I'll see you there and let's get right back into the video. Alright, so let's get into the first clip. This one, my boy Jigsaw had a chainsaw and as soon as his mana got netted, he cut out super quick with it. It cuts out way faster than normal hatchet and he was able to kill the suitor and get the kit. For this clip, I thought it was super smart because GD had ended up getting netted and then he got reeled in by this Bloodstalker, so he nets it, but instead of going for the player, he whistles attack with his Bloodstalker so it reels him in, so he's not able to cut his Bloodstalker free. Right here, Krabs demonstrates what I was talking about super well the other day. So basically, if you spin your bat in a circle doing hella crazy directions, it makes it super hard to net them off. Because nets are so slow and the bat is super thin, oftentimes, whenever you do shoot directly at the bat, if you're moving fast enough, it'll just completely miss. In this clip, it shows me using perception really well. I'm hiding my lightning wyvern behind this little hill and I had baited the suitor to come out to suit PvP. I was already pre-netted, so there was nothing he could do, and it was a free kill. In this clip, Krabs has a Noglin on his shoulder, and he nets a guy, but instead of instantly going for the rifle, he throws a Noglin on the guy's head, taking control of his player. Then he disconnects from it and grapples him to turrets. But you don't even have to wait for them to get netted. If you can predict their movement and know where they're going to be, you could throw it on their head mid-PvP. I've seen people do it mid-air where people are like fabby fighting, floating in the air, and then one just throws an oglin on the other person. In this clip, Krabs is going to a drop and he knows that there's a suitor following behind him, so he lays in the grass and waits for the suitor to try to follow. As soon as the suitor lands to probably try to kill him thinking he's looting the drop, he stands up, nets him, and throws an oglin on his head. If you do this to a suitor and they have a hawk on their shoulder, the best thing to do is either throw narc nades or take them to the water so you can pop a Tusa. I like this clip a lot because it's super simple and anyone can do it, but the placement of it was very well done. So now he's waiting for someone to pull up to fight him, and as soon as someone nets him, he cuts free. Now he instantly runs to where his C4 trap is, but places it on the high ground part. He gives the person high ground so they'll want to land on him, and as soon as he does, he just blows him up. I like this clip too because it's a very simple way to counter stegos whenever they're trying to soak. All you have to do is net them and then immediately swoop down on a bat and pick them before they can cut out. In cave PvP there's a lot of effective tames like Therese and Bloodstalkers, but no other tame besides like Apache can fit all the way through any cave and run as fast as a Mantis can. If you don't crank too much melee onto the mantis, you can just knock them all out and then go back and collect their kits and their hawks won't save it. Some people have like 1000 melee mantises that kill people instantly, but I don't think there's a point to that because you want to be able to get the kits from the hawks and cage people if needed. Fluffy did a great job in this clip. He found two people transferring out of terminal and instead of fighting them 2v1, he waited for them to go into the terminal and then he gig dropped them. If someone has a tech shield and you're trying to net fight them, the best thing to do is aim for their toes because you can still hit that even though they have their shield. Right here we had pulled up to a fob and we were extremely outnumbered. We mainly came to third party and it was nice because every time that they would push us we would just pick them with a bat or a wyvern or a bloodstalker and they were free kills. 
In the current meta right now, I think two of the most broken teams in the game is got to be the Desmo and the Lightning Wyvern, because it's super easy to pick people with a Desmo, and it's even easier to kill people with a Lightning.